I'm Dr. Peter Edelstein, Chief Medical Officer for Elsevier Clinical Solutions. I work out of the United States, but travel globally. Now tell us something about the focus of your current visit. This is my second recent visit to India. Elsevier Clinical Solutions sends me around the world to work with healthcare leaders and healthcare visionaries to try to determine the trends that are changing healthcare, health, and the cost of health worldwide. Of course, India is extremely important when we look at the lists of countries around the world with large populations, large health challenges, and, and really expanding needs. So this country for us is obviously one of the primary areas of focus. So I'm back here to learn more about some of the activities that are happening all the way from the governmental level down to the individual hospital level, and also to provide our expertise because Elsevier is a very old company. We're 130 years old. We've been in the science, technology, and healthcare business since then. And we actually provide more than a quarter of the entire world's scientific and health information. So partnering with leaders at all levels in India was obviously high on my list. So for me, it's great to be back here. It's a, it's a real opportunity. And what are the recent trends that you find in these directions? So worldwide, though with different levels in each country, the trends have really moved a bit away of worrying about the individual doctor caring for the individual patient. It's not to say that that's, that's still not really important, but when we think about large countries, small countries with growing or aging populations, the trends have shifted to thinking about population health management. So it doesn't mean it's not important how one doctor takes care of one diabetic, but it's also important to understand how one state or region takes care of a million diabetics, or how one country takes care of 12 million diabetics. And the whole way that you approach these large-scale health issues is entirely different, and leadership needs experienced partners who've done this before to help guide them, because there are some commonalities, for instance, between what the United States might have done and what India is trying to do, but there's also a need to really localize it. So you bring in experts who traveled and you partner with experienced local people, and that's how we make a change at the population health level. Tell us something about the clinical solutions that you offer. So Elsevier made its name basically with famous journals and books. Everybody's heard about Grey's Anatomy. They make a TV show about it, The Lancet. And again, we are the leading worldwide publisher of scent to practice with less variability, more standardization. So if you're at a tremendous cancer facility in Delhi, you get great care. But if you're in a rural community on the coast of India, why should your doctors not have the same information and you have the same care? We don't want to take away the doctors and nurses' experience and skill, but we want to remove all of the dangerous things that variability brings through standardization. So of course, most hospitals or hospital systems and even governments don't have endless resources. So routinely they say, what should our first purchase be? Um, what we say, where do I get the most bang for my buck, the best return? I actually believe the types of solutions I call push solutions are best. If you think of a seat belt, a seat belt can save your life, but only if you put it on and buckle it. Many solutions require the doctor to go look something up, like you might search under Google for something. So if the doctor is too busy, they won't get the important information. Push solutions are more like your car airbag. You get in, it works, you don't have to do anything. We have push solutions specifically for doctors. In other words, if I bring you into the hospital because you need a heart surgery, immediately I get things called order sets that tell me Doctor, for this patient, here are the recommended medications, x-rays, labs, and procedures based on accepted guidelines. It pushes knowledge to me. So I recommend that organizations begin by purchasing order sets, pushed information based on standardized, credible information. Now, your recommendation for India. One of the exciting things for me about India is that obviously there's a commitment to improving the health of populations. The government's been quite vocal about it. We are partnering with academic institutions, public institutions. There is already the momentum needed to start this process. 
So for me, that's exciting because many countries I visit, we're still just talking about do we need this, even though everyone accepts that they do. India is already making a move towards e-health to be a digital country. They're already talking about population health. We're already partnering with teams to talk about order set solutions, nursing solutions, patient engagement and empowerment. This is the best time to be in a country like India because things are about to take off. And for us, working with the right people to get this done as best as possible is extremely exciting because I know in a relatively short period of time, we'll be able to actually see improved health, improved costs, and a really, really exciting outcome. My pleasure.